I'm going to demonstrate hall pipe testing. There's two, two ways to do this. This is method number one. So if you have a bigger patient and you're smaller or you want to be secure with the patient, rotate the head 45 degrees. This is a left hall pike. Hold on to my forearms, Kelly. And we're going to lie down on the count of three. Make sure you keep your eyes open. You may get a dizzy spell. It typically doesn't last very long. Okay, you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three, lie down. And the head just slightly breaks the plane of the table here. And I took a step in the direction I was headed, and my nose is centered in her visual field. Okay, and so then we come back up, and she could use her arms again to support herself on the way back up. And always make sure you secure the patient when you come up. Often we'll come and bring our thigh here just to support the patient in case they are dizzy in this position. So this is an alternative way to perform a hall pike, being behind the patient. Uh, hand catches the head as the patient comes back. You want to get the same verbal instructions. Make sure you keep your eyes open as we drop you back over the edge of the table. If you get a dizzy spell, it typically doesn't last long. Sometimes you may feel a little bit sick. Just make sure you warn the patient about that and have them keep their eyes on the tip of your nose. So 45 degrees to the left again. This is a left hall pike alternative method number two. We're going to lie down on a count of three. You ready? Flat on your back. Ready? One, two, three. Lie down. And again, head just slightly over the edge of the table. Eyes on the tip of my nose. Good. Just support the head. Okay. And then after about 15 seconds or 30 seconds, we go ahead and sit the patient back up. Come back up. Knee here again and watch for eye movements to see if the patient gets dizzy and secure the patient when you bring them back up. We start with the patient's head rotated 45 degrees to the right. And we just lie the patient flat all the way back. Go ahead and keep the head elevated 45 degrees. So the head's elevated 45 degrees and rotated 45 degrees to the right. And just examine the patient for nystagmus in that position.